What's up, everybody? It is Adam Oliver here. I am a strength and conditioning coach, and this is my own personal fitness journal to stay ripped, to stay fit, and to maximize on my athletic performance throughout my whole lifespan. Today is the 6th of August, 2023, and this is week 70 of my journal. So let's dive uh, right into it. Last week was a great, successful week. I think I'd rate myself a A for the week if I had to grade myself. And this week, we're continued that momentum, although I'm still struggling with the coffee. So it's just a fine line between the coffee and sleep, making sure I don't overdo it on any of those. My goals for 2023, max out my physique, my fitness levels, my athleticism to do that, uh, well, for my physique, the lower abs will be a great indicator of my physique, where I want to be in terms of body composition and muscle mass. I want to get a sub 515 and maintain that for the two mile for my condition and fitness levels. I want to get average of 12 to 15,000 steps a day. Uh, that would be a great level of uh, great uh, show of fitness, I guess. And then we have athleticism. Uh, 30 inch vertical sub five second 40 yard dash. So I have to get a uh, get you guys some st uh, a vert time and a sprint time. Get you some uh, videos on that. My injury report. So I've been battling uh, a little bit of an oblique issue for the past month. That's kind of winding down. I've been do still continuing to do the PT exercises on my program. Uh, the hip. My uh, was it? My hip, my hips have been feeling pretty good. Uh, I always roll them out, do a lot of stretches, do a lot of uh, band work in the morning for my hips, just to keep them uh, up to snuff. And then my shoulder, my chest has been feeling a lot better. I've been really focusing on rolling out uh, my pec minors, and then just been working out, uh, working on my uh, serratus doing some extra exercises in the morning, like some scab push-ups, uh, just to work on those smaller muscles in the chest. And then today, I think I'm going to go to the gym and do some push-ups. So we'll see how that feels on the chest. I also have not been doing any type of pull-down. Uh, so and no type of chin-up, no type of pull-up with my right arm. I've been taking it easy on that side uh, for now. So that'll be something I have to work back up to for sure. So feeling good, just got to maintain doing that uh, daily warm up in my routine or else these uh, issues will get way out of hand. My activity report this week, just went walking a lot, just went to the gym. We are dog sitting this week, so we have a really obnoxious poodle that likes to go for lots of walks. So I got some, some extra walks in this week. And uh, I went to the sauna twice at the gym this week. And, and I think I'm gonna add a sauna workout to the conditioning part of the fitness app, guys. So you can just schedule that. And I'm gonna make one for cold showers as too, I believe. So that'll be cool, check that out. I need to get, hopefully I can get to the beach today. It is pretty early, it's only like uh, six, uh, 612 right now so I have plenty of time to get this podcast done go to the beach then probably go to the gym and then relax for a bit my habit and routines report in my workout um, my goal is my diet goal 32 to 3500 I always want to hit that daily warm-up every day one hour of walking I have my rehab exercises here on the right that you can see I have to take progress photos on a Sunday, track my body stats on Sunday, and then my goal is to drink one caffeinated drink a day. I'll say I epically fail with that every day, but every day I try to start off fresh, but it is what it is. My workout report, still focusing on not overtraining. Uh, we have, let's see... We're actually on a new phase. I don't know why I have the phase four, but we're doing uh, single leg squats or rear foot elevated squats for our big 
uh, knee dominant movement, sticking with hip lifts for our knee, uh, hip dominant movement. Then we have sled drags for day three. For day one, we're doing uh, incline dumbbell bench. Day two, we've got some pull downs. Day three, push ups. And then uh, let's see for the third exercise, always that core exercise for our third uh, exercise in our in our block. It would be side plank, some type of side plank variation in this phase. I'm just doing side planks because I'm just, just trying to recover from my oblique a bit. So I'm dialing it back. So I just did side planks this week. No, uh, well, feet elevated side planks. Only like 10 seconds. Nothing too hard on those. And then for the second block, you know, typically we're, I'm still doing the same things I did last phase. I'm doing a lot of that shoulder care work at the hip work. Uh, the rows, the hamstring exercises, that's really lots of what the second block is. Uh, lots of posterior chain work. Our shoulders, our back, uh, everything that helps us sit up straight. Then we work on those hamstrings a lot as well. And then, of course, I love to do those vanity exercises, curls, tricep extensions, lateral raises. I think I'm going to go do the day three workout today and my day three workout is a really an easier workout it doesn't take a lot of weight i think it's set up or anything we're just using a sled for our main exercise then we have everyone's favorite push-ups who doesn't like to do those and then we just have a core exercise so uh, i just try to make it easier on day three for everybody because uh a lot of people don't want to they're just a little bit sluggish on the weekend so the third uh, day three it's still a phenomenal workout it's just mentally i find it's easier to drag yourself to the gym on those days and my health stats so i've got let's see two weeks here for my excel sheet uh and you know i track a whole bunch of stats my body weight calories protein steps and then it averages it out and i've been tracking these since uh, may uh, or April, March of 2022. So I have a whole lot of stats here, or 2023, I forget. But I have a whole lot of stats here. And I just filtered it out so it showed the last two weeks. And my body weight's been 161 average. Calories right on track, 3640. Trying to be between 3,000 to 3,500 optimally. Uh, but when you're really active, and you're eating real, real foods, some of those real foods are going to actually be uh, digested through completely uh, versus less or highly processed foods. Your body's going to absorb all that, all those calories. So that's an interesting fact about eating real foods is that you're actually going to poop out some of the calories. Just a fun fact. So, so these calories, not all of them are being used. Everything that you eat, not everything is being used if you're eating a really high quality food, real food diet. So, but uh, I did go through two or three weeks in at the end of June, at the beginning of July, around the 4th, where I was having like 4,000 calories, between 4,000 and 5,000 calories. Although they were great quality foods, like Lara bars and stuff, I was eating way too many way too much of it uh and but if i ate let's say i binged a or ate pizza those days you know the uh, the repercussions would have been a lot worse so it's always better to eat real foods even if you do overeat i guess uh let's see where we were here so the calories my protein have been 280 we're trying to get a gram per pound of body weight for protein and then i always eat like extra because uh, there's we need protein for muscle mass we need protein for lots of things if you're really really active we need protein I do find it interesting why if we look at where just if you look a hundred years ago you know your grand your great grandparents their parents they're probably a lot smaller and just people around the world a hundred years ago were just a lot smaller in general and one of the reasons is just clearly the nutrition. We're getting way better 
quality nutrition, way more access to quality protein. That is clearly, 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 clearly having a huge effect on the development uh, as we grow up over the past, you know, 50, 100 years. So kids that grew up who didn't have access to the high quality foods we have now, higher quality, real quality foods, uh, they had stunted growth basically in different forms. And nowadays we have much better uh, nutrition. Everyone, more people have access to it. So we're seeing a huge, uh, you know, uh, let's say difference or, I mean, I notice it. Just people from different countries are way bigger. Uh, those stereotypes are <laughs> that, you know, people from Asia were shorter or smaller back then. But nowadays, uh, that's all catching up. And I think that a lot of it was just due to the poor, I wouldn't say poor diet, just lack of the right nutrients in the diet. So that's kind of a whole, we could go down this wormhole with the vegan diet and the uh, you know, what's the best diet? But I think really the best diet is real foods diet with high quality lean meats, you know, plants, veggies, beans, nuts, seeds, all that good stuff. So if we can stick to that, uh, I mean, I really, and you stick to that and you only eat what you're supposed to. There's no reason you won't lose weight in that aspect. And then, of course, if you hit the activity levels and the uh, recovery, you're really going to absolutely crush it in terms of your physique, your fitness, and your active, uh, your athleticism. So this is my Excel sheet, kind of track everything. My steps has been a little bit low, only 8,000. I'd like to see that 10,000 average. Uh, well, this is really what keeps me accountable I can kind of zoom out look at the whole year I can look at a whole week I can look at three months I can do all sorts of cool stuff with this sheet and uh, just something that really I know in the future it'll be cool to look back at and uh, to see what I was doing back in you know, August of 2023 some more health stats for foods highest in calories over the past 30 days Lara bars 28 times uh, 40, Jesus, 46,000 calories, and then 90% lean ground beef, uh, 8,000 calories worth in the past uh, in the past month. A lot of pork chops, more ground beef, ground beef, lara bars, lara bars, lara bars, black beans. Garbanzo beans, which are chickpeas. And then we have sliced white potatoes, cauliflower, chopped broccoli. That's the diet for the past 30 days. You saw it. Nuts, fruits, lean meats, beans, veggies. All right, that's it, guys. Then I've been drinking a lot of the uh, that pH water, alkaline water. The reason is because it has... Uh, a lot of the minerals, uh, magnesium, uh, chloride, I think it's chloride, um, you know, some other ones, some of those electrolytes that we need, it has those, and that doesn't, uh, it's a lot cheaper than the Gatorade, and it still has the electrolytes in it, and it doesn't have any of that other taste, so... Um, I'll stick to that water for now. I have to look it up to see, you know, if it actually has hydration benefits in that water. But we know that water that does have this stuff, those electrolytes are more beneficial for you. So this week's final thoughts. The one thing I need to focus on is the coffee. Drinking way too many, way too much Starbucks coffee this week with, with shots. So a coffee with a shot, way too much Uh I need to keep the salt, oil, and sugars down. I've been doing good on that. I've been doing good with not spending too much money on food. My first uh, meal has just been basically ground meat, veggies, and beans. And I have that between 1 and 3 p.m. I'm doing that for this whole week. And I make it a priority to always have that meal 1 to 3. And it, I'll be honest, it really does help at between... I'm really able to work more efficiently, let's say from 5 to about 
9, 8.39, and then I'll eat and then go to bed. Uh, if I fasted and just had some Mara bars instead, that would really spike my insulin or my, well, my glucose levels a bit too much for my for me during the day and that will just send me down a spiral so got to focus on that then less less coffee really got to focus on that so that was it this week guys uh, another good week hopefully get to the gym today roll out just can i keep sticking to my plan that's really it so i'll talk with you guys next week